Hello and welcome. You're watching the Tov Jewish News Channel. My name is Michael Vilensky, and my guest today is Mordechai Kedar, an expert on the Middle East. Mordechai, hello. Nice to see you, sir. We know that Israel is now preparing for a war with Hezbollah, which is an Iran-backed militia in Lebanon. And as we all know, Hezbollah is a Shia militia, and it's very weird because allegedly Hezbollah is engaging Israel because of their support for the Gaza people. But the Gazans are Sunni, the worst enemies of the Shia. How come the most militant Shias support Sunnis? Could you please explain that for me? Well, support uh, depends in, wh in what. Don't forget that this war which we are in is already more than 100 days. And during these 100 days, Iran did practically nothing uh, against Israel. It, it works through some proxies, but Iran itself didn't do anything in order to save uh, Gaza from the Israeli uh, uh, wrath. Uh, and even Hezbollah in Lebanon, all it has is, is the, it's done, you know, border clashes rather than an all out war against Israel, which they actually can uh, wage an all out war against Israel, especially with their stockpile of 150,000 missiles, which could be very effective against Israel. Yet, they didn't launch even one of these strategic missiles to Tel Aviv or to Haifa or to other places inside Israel. All they did is border clashes, maybe plus. Border clashes plus. That's all. And this is definitely not a war in order to save Gaza. And, and therefore, uh, uh, actually, the Shia did not run to save the Sunni uh, organization named Hamas. Um, and and it, today, it actually re, um, the, creates a very large resentment within the Sunni world against the Shia, Iran and Hezbollah, who did practically or almost nothing in order to save Hamas, in order to save Gaza, in order to save the Sunnis. Their cooperation is only on the basis of the shared goal, which is to get rid of Israel. And actually Hamas should have listened to the Iranians and not open a war on October 7th against Israel. They should have waited until Iran gives the clue to everyone, means to the Hezbollah, to the militias in Syria, in Iraq, in Yemen, in order to start an all-out war against Israel at one time from all these fronts, from Gaza, from Lebanon, Syria, Iraq, and Yemen. This war would have bring Israel to its knees within two or three days, according to the Iranian satanic, diabolic planning. Yet, Hamas decided to start a war by themselves, and this is totally against the Iranian will, which, uh, you know, the Iran, uh, don't forget, they armed the Palestinians in Gaza, they trained them, they equipped them, they supported them financially, of course, with Qatar, their friend, not in order to give Hamas the ability to wage a war by itself against Israel, but to be part of an all-out war, which will include all the fronts which I mentioned. Hamas started a war without the consent of the Iranians and the Hezbollah as well. And this is why, or this is one of the reasons that this means Iran and Hezbollah have not yet started a full war against the state of Israel. So this support was meant, was meant to prepare Hamas to a joint war with all the others, not in order to enable Hamas to start a war by itself, which evidently uh, Hamas will lose at the end of the day. Uh, but still, at least in their expressions, at least in their official statements, Iran is declaring support for the people of Palestine and, you know, talking about the liberation of Palestine from Zionists. How does that really, you know, go together with their hate for Sunnis? How does that really work out? Their hate to Israel is in order to take out or to wipe out the Jewish presence in this country 
because the Jewish state resembles in their eye a resurrection of Judaism after Judaism and Christianity, by the way, were canceled by Islam. This view of uh, canceled uh, religions, Judaism and Christianity, while Islam is the only religion in the world, is shared by Sunni and Shi'i as well. So in this, in this uh, uh, issue of getting rid of Israel, the Sunni Islam and the Shi'i Islam see the same goal to get rid of Israel altogether. Uh, now they have to support each other in order to, uh, to achieve this shared goal of the Sunnah and the Shia. And this is actually what stands behind the Shi'i support to, senior, to Sunni organizations like Hamas, Islamic Jihad, because they share the goal to get rid of the state of Israel altogether. Dr. Mordechai Kedar, it has been an amazing interview. Thank you very much for your expertise and your insight on the region and on the culture of Islam. Always great to have you on our channel. It is my pleasure and my honor. Thank you so much for giving me the podium. Thank you also to all our viewers that saw this interview. Please don't forget to subscribe to us here on YouTube. Give us a like and also subscribe to us on all our social media platforms. Thank you very much again and have a great day.